so this is a really good Mississippi State team. Um, you know, maybe maybe one of the best teams uh, Mississippi State's had in a while. Uh, they start off season 11 and 0. Uh, they got some great wins. Um, they were on the season a win against Marquette, one of the better wins that that our league's had in a non-conference. And Marquette's having a great year in the Big East. Um, their defense, um, you know, they hold teams to 56.8 points a game, and there's only been three teams that has scored um, 65 or more against them. And so the seven, you know, it's been they've held everybody down. They, um, and uh, how do they do it? They're really athletic. Uh, they they they're really physical. Um, they play really hard. They're well coached. They 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 they're multiple as far as how they defensively they'll man their zone. They'll press. Uh, rank really high in steals. Um, just super super one of the most athletic teams in in in, in, the, in the league. And uh, um, and maybe probably one of the most athletic teams in the country. Beat Minnesota up at Minnesota. Minnesota beat Ohio State last night. You know, me and my slippery rock theory. Um, so, um, and at times, offense has been a challenge, you know, for us. Um, and um, so for us to, you know, cut down, continue to keep our turnovers down if we can and uh, um, play better on the drop back defense um, and keep these guys off the boards. They're, they're like, I think they want to say they're 13th nationally in offensive rebound per percentage. They just, they just fly to the board. So it'll be one of our more physical games. Um, Chris Moore has not practiced with us. I don't anticipate him practice today, but uh, we'll have to see. So questions? Big, strong, and athletic. I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll go on the floor, get down there, and you, there'll be three or four of those guys that you would think should be playing on Saturday afternoons for Mississippi State. Uh, defensive end, left tackle types, just big, strong, powerful, athletic, physical. Um, it'll be a, uh, it will not be a game for the faint of heart. And and you know and they're well coached and they hang their hat on it. they take pride in it and uh, you know the only weaknesses they've shown is the ability to shoot from three and free their three point percentage and their free throw percentage are both hurt them other than that they've been elite. Uh, Coach Wendell Green has come alive for you these last couple of games. Um, you know, what things have you identified with him and how do you keep him on that track to uh, keep you guys going off this team? You know, Wendell's mindset, Wendell's mental preparation, um, you know, has been has been really good. Um, and you know, Wendell is, is one of the best point guards in this league that doesn't get the recognition that other other guards get. Um, and, um, and, but that's been a story of his life as, as an undersized point guard. And so I think his mindset has been, I'm just going to keep proving it to you, um, night in and night out. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, the way I see it. If you, if you doubt me, uh, which I think people do, um, um, then, um, then his job is to just sort of let me keep proving it. Um, and the thing I love about Wendell is he's able to make plays offensively and defensively. He's a very – one of the smartest players I've, I've ever coached. And so uh, he's a real key – obviously a real key for us. Uh, to them, uh, the Toby Smith special. Yeah, he's a guy that y'all come across with, especially with the under this new staff. Kind of how has he been? Uh, yeah, they. I mean, you know, it's Tolu Smith is. Um, I think they're in another, another, another example. Uh, Tolu Smith is recognized as one of the best centers in the league. I think Janai Broom is also one of the best centers in the league. I don't think Janai Broom is recognized as one of the best centers in the league. I think Tolu Smith is. Tolu Smith has shot. 
uh, the fourth most free throws of any player in college basketball this year. Um, they get the ball inside to him. He takes it to contact, uh, and he does a great job of getting to the foul line. Um, so, you know, first possessions of the game, they're going to throw the ball to Tolu and try to get Janai Broom in foul trouble. What has been the key for, for Janai picking it? I mean, we, we talked about it last month and being more efficient, kind of picking his game up, and he's, you know, got four straight double doubles. Now. What's been the key for him to kind of take that, take that next step? Well, I think that, you know, um, he, is, uh, uh, you know he is consistently. Um, He's consistently played harder, uh, played with more effectiveness. Um, we we're able to go in there, and, and he's finished at a higher percentage. And and uh, you know he's got a level of confidence, um, having been a now third-year player, it makes a big difference. You could just see uh, heading into league play. You know he hasn't been phased. He's not phased on the road, um, and that's just having sort of been there and and done that. He's got, you know, one of the things about Janai is Janai is a very underrated athlete. Everybody thinks that running and jumping is, is athleticism. I know some really bad athletes that are fast. And I know some guys who can jump out of the gym that can't catch a cold that are not very athletic. Janai is extremely athletic. He's just not super fast or jump out of the gym. And so, um, you know, I think also there's that trust factor, you know, just, you know, trust him, to, trust him down in there. And, 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 and all of this is all of his percentages have improved and and. Uh, you know he's uh, he's he's working also to to be improved defensively, and you know he's got another he's got another tough matchup. He and Dylan Bolt have got another tough matchup tomorrow. Uh, Dylan mentioned that y'all will come to transition offense. What are some areas you'd like to see improve uh, in that transition? Um, you know what? What in transition when you have numbers, um, there's you know you players have the ability to pick plays in space, and so you still want to give the players that ability. Um, the things that we're working on are uh, you know Mississippi State will be you know they'll press you, and then they'll drop back in the zone or drop back in a man or different things like that, and we've got to be able to go from our press attack into our half court attack seamlessly, um, and that's the kind of stuff that we were working on a little bit yesterday. Uh, Coach, um, you know, you, you, you guys are at the midpoint of the season right now, and um, you identified, you talked about some areas where you feel like you need to be improved. You know, realistically, um, what are you looking for over these next, what things are you looking for over these next few games to have the team take the next step going into back after? The you know what, right now it's just, just taking it one game at a time. We always do it that way. Um, every scout's different, every opponent's different. Uh, the timing of when you play people. So, like, really, truly just focusing on Mississippi State, the things that they do well, the things that we have got to do against them. Um, and then and the rest will sort of sort itself out. Um, you know, bottom line is um, that we've played four games in the SEC so far. Um, we played better the last two games than we, read, than we did the first two games. Can we can we can we continue to play well like we did the last couple of ball games? Are you guys, Bruce, how is the chance question doing? Have you seen progress from him in practice? Yeah, I'm, I've talked about it a lot. You know, just just, and I don't mind talking about it again briefly here, but. Um, uh, you know, Chance Westry offensively was, if not the one of our best guards this summer. So he did a great job coming in, did a great job as a freshman. Um, and then the very beginning of the semester, he hurts his knee. Uh, it's an old injury um, where his knee, kneecap kind of dislocates. And we decide that we're going to spend some time just rehabbing it, see if we can get it stronger to avoid surgery. We do that four weeks later just can't quite he's not he's he's it's still not right so we decided to go ahead and have the surgery eight more weeks now so now you miss 12 weeks as a freshman in the fall he comes back and um maybe i make the mistake of trying to play him at some point guard but that was where there may have only been about 10 minutes a game and he wasn't ready he's more ready now but that doesn't mean i'm going to put him in right now it's just it's just hard to miss all that time, miss all those reps. And I'm going to put him in right now in the middle of the SEC. So Chance has done nothing wrong. Uh, he's done a lot of things right. I have not la lost one ounce of confidence, and I'm confident that in a year from now, he'll be one of our better players. But it, uh, unless something dramatic changes with our roster, 
I just I just think I need to protect him from being out there where um, the guys have had so many more repetitions. It's just not fair. Uh, you talked about Chris earlier. If he can't go, how confident are you in guys like Al and maybe Leo? I think I think it'll be, it'll it'll be if he can't it'll be next man up and certainly you know um, you know certainly Chris has been a huge part of our of our of our team our chemistry's a loud voice and a physical presence so um, it'll be next man up. Ask question, Nathan. Yeah, yeah, kind of the same question, but I guess you know obviously Val had his most minutes of the of the year in the last game. I guess just how confident does that make you in him? The fact that he played so well with such a big role and now. You know, like we were just talking about, if Chris can't get, he Al's put the time in. He's put the work in. Um, he's been grinding, um, and over a period of the last several months, and and you just haven't seen um, as much reward for all that work. But you saw it the last couple of games. It's been wonderful to see. Um, you know, not only has he shot the ball well, but he's been our leading defensive rebounder. Um, he's playing all those minutes without turning the ball over, which is important. Important. Um, he's just doing all the right things, and then as a result, he's playing well. Thanks, Coach. Sure. Thank you. Thank you.